Today's John Volk Spotlight is the Everglades Club in Palm Beach, which opened as a members-only club in 1919. The Everglades Club is located near the western terminus of Worth Avenue, the town's primary shopping avenue. The golf course is located on the south side of the property. In 1918, Palm Beach developer Paris Singer proposed the building of a convalescent home for wounded veterans coming home from the Great War. He commissioned Palm Beach architect Addison Meisner to build a facility that would become the Everglades Club. Meisner's Everglades Club included a main clubhouse, eight villas, tennis courts, a parking garage, and a yacht basin. The club's Mediterranean Revival facility popularized the architectural style that would become so ubiquitous in the 1920s. Despite modifications over the last century, original features such as a variety of unique windows, a bell tower, Moorish style latticed balconies, and colorful tile work are still intact. In the late 1940s, John Volk was commissioned to undertake improvements to the Everglades Club facilities. He added loges, a stage, and dressing rooms. He also added an electric sliding glass roof that weighed 35 tons and was supported by railroad tracks and rail car wheels. The roof provided shelter over the stage and dressing rooms without detracting from its outdoor character. Orange trees were planted and orange light bulbs were placed in the trees in the newly enclosed climate controlled garden, aptly named the Orange Garden. While Volk was working on improving the Everglades Club gardens in 1950, a fire broke out and destroyed the golf terrace. Volk was given carte blanche to complete a new terrace in record time as there were only six weeks left until the beginning of golf season. Volk's new golf terrace featured an ornamental metal entrance portico. Features within the terrace included a U-shaped dining room with a dance floor in the center with an adjacent cocktail lounge. A club room, dining room, and locker rooms facing the golf course provided golfers with an informal space to gather. Volk's work on the Everglades Club later included improvements to the Everglades Club Arcade on Worth Avenue, replacing an earlier building on the south side of Worth Avenue, just east of the Everglades Club. Here you can see Volk's plan for the Cartier Jewelry Store, now the Stubbs and Wooten Shop. Volk wanted to ensure that his new structures would blend with the existing Mediterranean revival character of the avenue. Each bay in the arcade is detailed with Mediterranean revival elements. Columns and roof lines differ at each storefront, and a red barrel tile roof and continuous arcade unify the spaces. The Everglades Club has been a central institution for the residents of Palm Beach for over a century. Beyond golf and tennis, club members have enjoyed black tie events, gala fundraisers, and even a traveling circus with elephants. The Everglades Club facility was designated as a historically significant landmark in 1980. It's a stunning example of Volk's ability to expand an existing structure without losing its original character.